Hello, YouTube. This is Dakota from No Tide Media right now because I didn't want to put on a bow tie. And uh, we've got another installment of This Week in EDM where you go over songs that, well, came out this week in EDM. Uh, June 18th is the kind of deadline for this, the last week of that. Uh, as always, songs are in a Spotify link in the description below. But uh, let's hop into it. And we are starting with the trash category, songs that I thought were trash. We've got one, and it is Bruxa by Marshmello and Trop Killers. Um, the Mellow Killers EP is out now, and wow, this song in particular, um, you cannot convince me that this isn't a joke. Um, the, the absolute worst kick I've ever heard in my life with the sounds of someone like laughing throughout, this is genuinely a horrible track, and this is horrendous. Uh, then we're moving into bad, uh, bad category songs that I thought were, uh, were, were not great. Again, this is just my opinion. Remember that, uh, we got me and you by Karma Fields, sadly, uh, slightly new direction for Karma Fields here. And I'm not really a fan. It's got that kind of underground club beat to it with a strange assortment of vocal chops and melodies. Um, I, I really don't think it's that bad, but definitely my least favorite song from Karma Fields to date. So I think I'm just putting it on a, putting it against a higher pedestal, but. Uh, but that's it for songs I did not like this week as we are heading into the meh category songs that I thought were, uh, were pretty meh. Uh, we've got Dreamwalker by Dion Timmer featuring David Vance. Uh, punchy Dion Timmer track here uh, with a blend of his brooding dubstep and kind of smoother electro sounds. Uh, that being said, the track is still very abrasive and I couldn't find too much to connect with um, on this track in particular. So that is going to be that. Uh, we're moving into now Vertigo by Spaghetti and Lux Tides. The Noodle Effect LP, the sophomore album from uh, Spaghetti is here. And uh, this song in particular didn't really offer anything new to me. It sounded just like a jumble of a bunch of standard EDM songs to me in particular. And I um, didn't find it over overly impressive uh, personally. So uh, that is Vertigo and uh, kind of similar feelings on the album personally. So... I've only given it one listen through, but uh, then we've got Always With Me by Beast Boy. The new Night Fevers EP is out now, and I'm uh, starting to warm up to Beast Boy a little bit more here, I would say. Um, this EP is much more enjoyable than his last one was for me, but uh, this song in particular still has a bit of those kind of piercing vocals that I didn't really appreciate, uh, but overall, I uh, thought it was okay. Then we've got Uplift by Pegboard Nerds. Uh, for Pegboard Nerds Electro House, or Electro, yeah, this is, it's just, it's really boring, I, I thought. It's relatively the same synth melody throughout that they've been using for a long time now, and it just, uh, just sounded uh, a, a little boring, I would say. Then we've got Fog Dancer by Mr. Fiji Ouija, an atmosphere garage track from Fiji, as one would expect. I let more, a little bit more on the ethereal side with this one, uh, but not much uh, variety in its structure. And so I thought this was uh, on the lower kind of half of Fiji songs. Um, but yeah. And continuing the kind of somewhat disappointing Monster Cat Artist <laughs> song for this week, uh, we've got Stardust by Stonebank featuring Lena Sue. Uh, this is the most basic track Stonebank has ever produced period. Uh, it's just your kind of standard cookie cutter future house, and it didn't really hit for me at all. Um, I kept waiting for the kind of X factor of Stonebank to come in at some point, um, but it just, it never did. So um, I, again, it's not not a bad song. I just, I just thought it was meh. They've got Inner Fire by Godlands and Plasma. The Bleach EP is out now on Monster Cat, and uh, I do much prefer the trap side of Godlands, uh, but this is fairly solid too, this being a more drum and bass style cut. Um, I, yeah, I don't know if I was just like a child here, but the brass sounds, they, they sound like, they sound like someone farting. Um, they really do. And so I don't know if I just, if I'm just a child here, but I just, I couldn't get that out of my head for this song in particular, but, uh, yeah, I really like the rest of the EP, but this one was my least favorite, uh, to be said. So, uh, continuing with the kind of monster get run here, we've got Rush by Bishu and Nev. Uh, I would say a neat little house track here with a nostalgic sound design to it. Uh, but it's really, again, just a bit of a basic track. Uh, the vocals are quite playful and engaging, but there is little to no kind of backing production elements that I uh, keep the song, I would say a little bit more enticing. So. How does that? And then we got Sandcastle by JCO and Grabbits. Uh, Grabbits vocals felt a little bit phoned in, I would say here, and the production left a little bit more desired. Um, it was a bit of a strange song, I would say, uh, both stylistically and lyrically. I felt like it was a little lost, but then there were some moments where I really enjoyed and others where I was like, huh, that was an interesting choice. And so it was just, just a weird one for me. I really honestly don't know how I feel about that one, but um, it could go, it could have gone good, I think personally. 
Uh, but speaking of good, we are heading into the good category now as we've got Realm of the Damned by Murata. Uh, Murata is on a rampage right now, and I'm really starting to understand his appeal in the base scene. Uh, I, I very honestly don't really know what it is about his production that just, it, it just feels different to me. It feels like I, I get it more. I understand the kind of base dubstep style that you guys have, that a lot of you really, really love in the base scene. And I just, I'm starting to get it with Murata a little bit more. And so uh, I thought it could track. We've got Worlds Away by Dabin and Trella. Uh, as much as I kind of harp on melodic dubstep these days, uh, this one wasn't too bad. I felt like it had a lot more life in it and actually felt like I was going on a journey. I felt like I was in the middle of a storyline and um, I, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it for that. And the production was uh, not too bad. So way to go, Dabin. Then we got Colt. Wow. Excuse me, Cold by Tasaki. Uh, a more reserved kind of Tasaki on this track, but one that I personally resonated with more so. That's been his kind of bit. These three, I believe, Bitbird releases are kind of more on the reserved side from Tasaki. But uh, yeah, it's relatively simple compared to this other stuff, but very well put together, I would say. So I enjoyed it. Then we've got Ascension by Cone Sound. Uh, the return of Cone Sound after quite some time. Uh, a bit of an atmospheric drum and bass track here with long spaced out movements. Um, with, yeah, just a, just a lot of that kind of space to kind of um, yeah, let you kind of think and let you kind of sit in it and soak in it a little bit more. So uh, a part with the or with the album art, there's a bit of a storyline kind of going on that you can take yourself on if you'd like to. So. Then we got Flesh by Golden Feature, stylistically very different from the past kind of three singles from whatever this upcoming project will be, all the album art is the same, but um, yeah, relatively simplistic again here, but with a little bit more interesting kind of musical motifs and movements. Um, feels very niche in its sound design and execution though, so uh, definitely an odder track, uh, a weird, a more odd track for this week. Uh, but then we got Nova by Mazare and Livingston Crane. Uh, felt like it's 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 hard to miss with drum and bass from Mazare here, and uh, it's got a structure like a mellow dub song does, but with the kind of mix up in genre. Obviously, this being a more drum and bass drum step style track, um, I thought the vocals were great too, and uh, it's just it's hard to miss with Mazare. So. Then we've got Waiting by Rome in Silver, and similar to the kind of not missing, I feel like Rome in Silver's house is just the best. Uh, it's kind of, kind of a, a light drum pattern to it and eerie vocals that make it for a very dreamy production on top of it all. Um, and I'm excited for whatever this upcoming project is going to be from Rome in Silver too, so something on uh, Seeking Blue. And so I'm assuming it, I'm pretty sure it's an album, but uh, I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But... Uh, then we've got Runaway by More Kismet. Uh, More Kismet is continually proving to be one of the most kind of interesting sounds in EDM. His mixing and mastering is becoming more refined and his style is becoming, uh, he's solidifying his style more so these days. And uh, this is just another great addition to the discography, the kind of mix of like wonky future bass, just out there kind of sounds. And so a uh, big fan of that track. Then we've got Landscape by Drulu and Banji. Uh, second single from an upcoming sophomore album from Drulu. Uh, kind of cutesy vocals here with Drulu's signature production style in the back end, uh, but it's a very cheery and carefree track that is definitely a summer vibe. Uh, then we got Don't Be Scared by Bensley and Justin Hawks. I absolutely adore drum and bass from these two artists. Uh, doesn't feel like there is much to really differentiate this kind of style of drum and bass from other producers, but um, something about it is just more engaging and kind of thought provoking and uh, maybe not thought provoking, but just it feels like it's got more oomph to it and more passion behind it. So uh, the melodies are great. The kick is on point. Solid track. Uh, our penultimate track of the week is West Side Story by DJ Snake. Uh, this has got to be DJ Snake's best song in a while. It's funky and nostalgic, and um, it isn't made for just streams. It isn't made for just commercial success. Uh, the kind of the Roger Troutman breakthrough sample use is brilliant, and uh, overall thought it was just an absolute pleasure to listen to this track, and one that I will have on repeat for a while. So, And my top track of the week, my favorite song of the week that came out in this week in EDM is Afraid to Fail by Elohim or Elohim. Uh, Mid-tempo from Elohim was a very welcome surprise, I would say. Uh, the track hits hard and pulls off to let it breathe in the moments that it's kind of doing both. Um, I've always been a fan of her more intense production design, and uh, this is that 2AT. Absolutely love it. Um, this is uh, yeah, fire track that if you haven't heard Elohim, I would go listen to her now. Uh, so that's that. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think of these songs, any and all in the comment section below. Uh, but other than that, I am Dakota from Bowtide Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.